why Nikola will win against Tesla in the semi-truck market. If Tesla has a competitor in the truck market, it is definitely Nikola. Soon, Nikola will turn into Tesla's biggest competitor for semi-trucks. The question here is that, will Nikola win against Tesla in the semi-truck market? Hello and welcome to our channel, Techslux Insider. Today, we have come up with an exciting video, so stay with us until the end of the video to find out more. Nikola was established in 2015 by Trevor Milton. Initially, Nikola focused on manufacturing electric vehicles in freight transport and motorsport spaces. Since Nikola has been presenting an eco-friendly products line by their use of advanced tech, Nikola One was the first ever truck produced by the company, which was powered by a stack of hydrogen fuel cells, as well as a 320 kilowatt hour battery. It was one of the first and biggest successes for the company. The Nikola One freight car prototype was touted to the world as a fully functioning, drivable vehicle. On the unveiling of the Nikola One semi-truck, Trevor Milton said, the vision behind the Nikola One was a beautiful one to many that our economy, which increasingly relied on international and interstate commerce, could begin to make steps toward an emissions-free future thanks to Nikola's technological developments. He further added, we've been waiting so long to show this to the world, you have no idea. It's hard to even contain my emotion about this. Nikola's star products right now are electric heavy-duty trucks, which seem to be a potential rival of Tesla's semi-trucks. There is no doubt that Nikola's success will be its hydrogen-powered vehicles, as Nikola claims that its hydrogen-fueled vehicles eliminates some of the downsides of electric vehicle batteries, like limited range and increased weight. However, the nickel metal, which is necessary to create electric batteries, is a scarce resource, plus it is high in demand. Nikola has access to its own machines to pump out as much hydrogen as required to pursue its operations. This shows the chances of Nikola's prolonged existence as compared to Tesla. Now, let's take a look at the EVs offered by both companies and which one is better. Tesla has been in the automobile industry since a decade, proving they have more than what it takes to shift an industry which is relying on fossil fuels. But a relative newcomer Nikola is trying to bring efficiency into electric-powered vehicles by fueling them with hydrogen. A rivalry is emerging between the two companies trying to clean up the trucking industry. Tesla thinks battery electric semi-trucks are superior, while Nikola thinks hydrogen is the best choice. Neither company has a semi-model on the road yet, but Elon Musk and Trevor Milton are talking up the respective vision of the future of heavy-duty trucks, with the hope of getting vehicles to customers in the next couple of years. As the transport industry affects our environment, both the companies intend to solve this massive problem. In addition, Nikola has made market value of $12 billion in just two years, while Tesla has a market value of $2 billion. It took five years for Tesla to sell 100,000 vehicles and around nine years to generate a positive cash flow. Nikola's IPO price was a whopping $37.55 at opening and additionally made billions of dollars when they became public. Nikola is already ahead of Tesla in terms of relative company value at the current time, and Nikola is expected to bring a positive cash flow by 2025. Just like Tesla cars, Tesla Semi will run on lithium-ion batteries. Furthermore, a Tesla Semi will have the ability to load 80,000 pounds with an immensely fast speed, reaching from 0 to 60 miles per hour when full loaded in just 30 seconds. Tesla has a brand new battery designed for Tesla Semis with five times more energy storage. The exterior design will be as aerodynamic as possible for a better smooth drive. The Tesla Semi will cost $180,000 when bought new. Compared to Tesla, Nikola is taking completely different grounds, as they will use hydrogen fuel cells to power their electric semi. They haven't started any production yet, but their pre-order sales are even more amazing. Their first vehicle is expected to be out by the end of 2021, and it will revolutionize the future of the automobile industry. As lithium is a high-cost substance and very hard to mine, so hydrogen is the best option for the semi as it is cheaper and easier to extract. Nikola plans to spend $2.5 billion in the next five years to build the facility to produce hydrogen. Nikola has predicted a range of 500 to 700 miles for the semi-truck, and the truck will cost $268,782 initially. All of these factors will definitely be the cause for Nikola to win against Tesla in the semi-truck market. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Tell us what you think about the video in the comment section below. We'll be back with more amazing content soon. Thanks for watching.